No, you can definitely taste the Fritos. That is bomb.com. In this video, we're gonna try the new Beefy Crunch Burrito. We're gonna talk about the price point, how many calories it is, and if it's worth getting into your diet. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. All right, guys, I'm super excited today to try the new beefy, uh, beefy crunch burrito. Usually when I'm dieting, I don't really have this kind of stuff because I like to be as accurate as possible. Because I hit my goal weight already, even though I'm still tracking, I can be a little bit more loose with it. I know they had this in the past and they brought it back. This is what they always do, right? They always get you by making a limited time, they take it away, and then you're like, oh man, I miss it. And then they bring it back and you're like, oh, I gotta go to Taco Bell and buy it before it's too late again marketing. I'm super excited because this is the one that has the Fritos, hot Fritos inside the burrito. Enough talking. Let's do this. All right. So coming in at 460 calories, uh, it looks kind of small. Actually, no, I think it's all right. But before we start, this is a fitness channel. So we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule, which means 80% of my calories come from whole foods, lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories comes from foods just like this. The second rule is we don't skip our training. We don't skip our workouts. We don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning, get it over with. So I have the rest of the day to do whatever I like. But hey, do what fits you in your lifestyle. Just make sure you get it done. And the third rule is we eat at our maintenance calories or below. Eating at your maintenance calories means you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat below it, you lose weight. If you eat above it, you gain weight. And the fourth rule is we don't drink our calories on this channel, unless it's vodka. All right, guys, with that being said, again, 460 calories. I'll leave the rest of the macros right here. I think it was 19 grams of fat and 14 grams of protein. I wish it was reversed the other way around, but hey, it is what it is. This is what it looks like. I'm getting a little flabby, a little flimsy. 460 calories, I mean, I guess it's all right. But hey, enough talking. Let's do this. Mmm. Oh, yo. Holy. No, oh, you can definitely taste the Fritos. That is bomb.com. I think it's Fritos. I think it's shredded beef. Rice. I think there's cheese in here. Is there cheese? Let's take another bite. Let's find out. No, I don't see no cheese. I think it's just beef, Fritos, hot Fritos, and rice. That's it. They asked me if I wanted sauce, but I said no, because I just want to eat it without it. But I think some hot sauce would be really good with this. Oh yeah, like I mentioned, we don't drink our calories on this channel. So today I have a nice Diet Dr. Pepper. Zero calories. Oh yeah, not sponsored. I already opened it, so let's just take a sip. You can't go wrong with a nice Diet Dr. Pepper and Taco Bell. Am I right? If you're new to the channel, you might be wondering, Louis, why didn't you just buy a soda at Taco Bell? Well, my friends, that's an extra dollar. No, like two, three dollars. If you spend another couple bucks, you'll get a 12 pack at the grocery store. So I'm not here just trying to save you guys calories. I'm trying to save you guys money as well. But yeah, guys, overall, I like this a lot. And before tax, this is only $2.49. $2.49 for this? Hey, that's not bad. I think that's one thing I love about Taco Bell. Not all of them, but most of the items are fairly cheap and it fills you up and they're really good, especially when you're drunk. So I highly recommend this. It's only for a limited time, so you better hurry. But if you don't, just wait a couple months. Don't bring it back. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, I do a random topic of the day. It helps you guys get to know me better. And if you leave a comment below, it helps me get to know you better as well. All right, the question is, when do you want to retire? What do you want to do when you retire? Actually, that's an interesting topic because literally me and my friend were talking about that the other day. Okay, so for him, he's working for a tech startup company, right? He wants to retire as soon as possible. He wants the company to go IPO. And with the shares, once it goes public, he's going to be rich, right? That's his goal. That's his plan. And I feel like that's a lot of people's plans. However, for me, I just want financial freedom. That's kind of why I'm doing YouTube. Not only do I find it fun and entertaining, but also it's something that can generate money while you sleep, right? I can put out a video like this and make money once I'm monetized. I'm not monetized yet, but once I am, maybe someone will watch this video a year or two years from now, and that would make me a couple bucks here and there. You know what I mean? 
So without going on a tangent, I would like to retire as soon as possible. I think that's everybody's goal. It's just how you get there is different. But what do I want to do when I retire? And that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people want to retire to just drink Mai Tais on the beach. And that sounds fantastic. But if you think about it, how often can you do that until you get bored of it? I think we see a lot of entrepreneurs that made it become multimillionaires. Yeah, they'll do that for like a couple months. But then all of a sudden they'll get bored because they're so used to grinding, so used to working that all of a sudden they have nothing to do and they get bored. So they find other ventures. They either start another company, they invest in real estate, they travel, I don't know. But I think I would be the same way. My goal is to have this channel blow up, hopefully one day. Hello future self, I hope this is true. But continue to just film, document things because I'm not doing this because of the money, but it's also once you make a video, it's set for life. So you can go back five years from now, 10 years from now and be like, wow, watch these videos and see how much you have grown. When I wanna retire, as soon as possible, what do I wanna do when I retire? Continue making videos. All right, let's take another bite. Mm. What about you guys? What do you guys wanna do when you retire? Again, I know the easy answer is nothing, just chill, drink my ties on the beach, but really think about it. You'll probably be bored of it over the next three to six months of doing that every single day. I feel like our generation, not even our generation, just our purpose in life. We want to have purpose, right? I know it's easy to just say, I just want to watch Netflix all day. Hey, you can watch Netflix right now being broke. Oh, whoa, it has sour cream on the bottom. What the heck? I didn't know that. Well, that'd be nice if we had it throughout the burrito. Anyways, that's all I have for today, guys. Don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. And oh yeah, if you don't know what maintenance calories, I have a free link below, click on it and you'll be good to go. Peace.